At dusk on 17 June 1983, the first Peacekeeper flight test missile emerged in a cloud of billowing steam from its cold launch canister at Vandenberg Air Force Base, California, to become America's first new ICBM to be launched in 22 years. And on 14 October 1983, FTM-2, our second Peacekeeper test missile, streaked skyward. Both of these Peacekeeper missiles delivered their six dummy re-entry vehicles to a target area some 4,100 miles downrange in the Pacific, near the Kwajalein Islands. On 20 December 1983, FTM-3 flew with eight dummy re-entry vehicles targeted for a broad ocean impact area some 4,800 miles downrange in the Pacific. The Peacekeeper missile is a four-stage vehicle, approximately eight feet in diameter, weighing some 190,000 pounds and capable of carrying 10 warheads. Stage one is a 27-foot long, 108,000 pound solid propellant motor, which generates up to one half million pounds of thrust. This motor lifts the entire Peacekeeper to an altitude of 75,000 feet before burnout. In addition to eight previous motor firings, during 1983, two more successful flight-proof test firings were conducted at Thiokol's test facility, one of which was a wet static test to verify Stage 1's ignition reliability for FTM-2's flight and subsequent motors. Stage 2 was about 18 feet long and contains almost 55,000 pounds of solid propellant. Its unique nozzle design incorporates an extendable exit cone with one fixed and one movable segment. This configuration nozzle is nested prior to motor ignition. This extendable nozzle exit cone design permits a shorter interstage structure between the motors and reduces overall missile length and weight. At the Aerojet plant in 1983, four sea level test firings were conducted, three trimmed grain configuration confirmation tests and the fourth was a confirmation of a new liner system and cast grain configuration. At the Arnold Engineering Development Center AEDC test facility, two successful altitude test firings were conducted. One was an exit cone modification test and the second a flight proof test. After stage one motor burnout at an altitude of approximately 70,000 feet, the stage two motor fires, separating the stages and the nozzle extends to provide additional performance during its one minute burn time. By then, the missile has reached an altitude of approximately 122,500 feet. Stage three is only eight feet long with 15,500 pounds of an advanced synthetic polymer propellant. When the missile exits the atmosphere, the shroud covering the re-entry vehicles accelerates upward and to one side to avoid contact with the missile. The Stage 3 movable nozzle also uses an extendable design. In 1983, at Arnold's altitude test chamber, the Air Force successfully conducted five advanced propellant ballistic performance proof tests of the Hercules Stage 3 motor. These tests verified expandable exit cone performance and Thrust Vector Acquisition Systems, or TVA, prior to actual flight testing. At burnout, about 70 seconds after ignition, the missile is at an altitude of approximately 700,000 feet. Stage four is the only liquid-fueled motor system of the Peacekeeper missile. It's four feet long and weighs approximately 4,000 pounds when fully fueled. It consists of an axial engine, eight attitude control engines, and two propellant storage assemblies for oxidizer and fuel. As roll accelerations are experienced during flight, the guidance system senses the error and makes the necessary corrections through activation of the Stage 4's attitude control engines. The post-boost vehicle consists of Rocketdyne Stage 4, the AVCO re-entry system, and the Autonetics guidance and control system, which includes the Northrop guidance sphere itself. This advanced inertial reference sphere, or AIRS, controls the missile during all phases of ground and flight operations. These flight tests, in addition to proving the missile subsystems, validate all of the ground support and data systems as well. Evaluation of missile flight performance 
requires acquisition of telemetry data from onboard sensors. Peacekeeper's data management system consists of the Airborne Instrumentation and Flight Safety System, IFSS, and the ground receiving equipment. The IFSS function is to gather, process, format, and transmit flight test data to ground station monitors and recorders. The IFSS performed satisfactorily during pre-launch and for the full flight duration. In all, the total data management systems performed satisfactorily throughout the mission. Telemetry receiving stations on land and aboard aircraft recorded telemetry data, allowing post-flight evaluation of the performance of re-entry vehicle components to determine nose tip ablation, fusing system timing, and vehicle deceleration during the re-entry. External radar tracking and an impact scoring system were used in support of the system accuracy objectives. This instrumentation film shows the re-entry vehicles approaching the target area off the Kwajalein missile test range in the Pacific Ocean during one of the Peacekeeper test launches. 